You know, I've owned three different jets in my life and I and used them and just burning them up for the Lord Jesus Christ. Televangelist Jesse Duplantis says God himself told him it's time for an upgrade. He said, I want you to believe me for a Falcon 7X. So I said, okay. A Falcon 7 jet like this one to preach to more people around the world. And he's asking his followers for the $54 million. I really believe that if Jesus was physically on the earth today, he wouldn't be riding a donkey. From his Louisiana headquarters, Duplantis is among a group of televangelists who preach that their wealth is God's will. This preys upon the poorest people that want and need money badly, where they're told if they give money, God's going to bless them a hundredfold. Duplantis lives in a 35,000 square foot mansion, tax free. He's asking everybody who has less than he has to pay for this jet, and I, I don't get that, you know? Fellow televangelist Kenneth Copeland recently bought a $36 million Gulfstream 5 jet. Praise God. Isn't that good? The two have commiserated about how they can't fly or pray with commercial airline passengers. This dope-filled world, right. and get in, an air, get in a long tube with a bunch of demons. Right, that's exactly the And it, it's deadly. We asked Jesse Duplantis and his ministries for comment, but they declined to respond. So far, no indication whether he's received any contributions for his jet. Tom Costello, NBC News, Washington. Hey, NBC News fans, thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Subscribe by clicking on that button down here and click on any of the videos over here to watch the latest interviews, show highlights, and digital exclusives. Thanks for watching.